The next step in the magazine template setup with Suffusion Theme is the setup of the excerpts area. So let's get started with the setup. The excerpts area allows you to show a set of post excerpts for selected categories. These excerpts, when displayed, include the post title and excerpt. Also, an optional thumbnail image area is located above the title area. First, let's activate the excerpts area here and then set the name of the excerpts area. For now, I'm going to set the title to Magazine Template Excerpts. This title can be set to whatever you'd like to show as the title for this area. You can set the excerpt area title to display on the left, right, or center. For now, I'm going to position mine on the left. Next, we'll set the number of excerpts that we want to show on the page. I think that 8 is a good number for now. In this section, we're going to set the number of excerpts per row. The more excerpts that are shown per row, the smaller the width of each excerpt. I've played around with these settings a bit, and for this application, I think four excerpts per row is going to work well. Now that we've set up the basic visual appearance of the excerpts area, we'll set the categories that we want to include in each excerpt. From here down, we'll be setting the modifications to the thumbnail images that can be shown with the excerpts. An image does not have to be shown, but images will add a visual appeal to each of your posts. I would encourage you to develop a practice of using images to enhance the look and feel of your pages and posts. For now, let's set this to hide the thumbnail container if there's not a thumbnail available. This will give the excerpts a little more flexibility. Next, we need to set the thumbnail container height for the excerpts. This will ensure visual consistency with all of the excerpts. As with the headlines area, you can set the image preference order here. We can drag and drop the preferences to establish the order that suits our needs. Here, we can set a custom size for the excerpt thumbnail images, or we can let the size be the same as the original image. I like to usually stick with the original image size for the featured image that is attached to the post. If we choose custom sizes, we'll have to set the custom height and width of the thumbnail images. This section allows a number of options for proportionally sizing images. These will need to be tweaked so that the images don't appear distorted when displayed as a thumbnail. The excerpt contains the title of the post just below the thumbnail image and above the excerpt content. This title can be set to display on the left, center, or right. At the end of each excerpt is a button that can be clicked on if the visitor wants to engage the page. This button can be set to whatever text you'd like to display. For now, I'm going to set this to say, Read More. In the final section of the excerpts area, you can set all of the bylines for each excerpt. This allows you to show post date, post author, and a number of other things. For now, I'm going to set each of these to be hidden for simplicity, but there may be some applications which would prove useful for this feature. Now let's save the settings and take a look at the web page and see how all of these settings will affect the actual page. We've saved our page and now we're going to take a look and see what this looks like visually. So let me maximize this just for a few minutes here. Okay, this is the first section that we've already completed called the headline section. We've already discussed this and you can see with headlines it shows a headline for each article and um, and then a graphic or image that's attached to that article and it can also be a featured image or um, also a category icon. So what we've just completed is the second section called the excerpts section and this is what it's going to look like. So let's compare this side by side with the settings. So we've set it to show the excerpts and so you can see here that the excerpts are showing Let's just scroll over a little bit so we can see this. We've set our title to be the magazine magazine template excerpts and you can see here it's set to magazine template excerpts. It's set to show on the left and so it's aligned on the left. It could also be centered or it could be on the right as well. Next we've set a maximum number of excerpts to show to eight and you can see here four and four and depending on your the width of your website will depend on how many will show on each line. Next is uh, this, to select the categories for the excerpts 
and we've just selected all of the categories at this time. Next one was uh, to show thumbnails for the excerpts and we've set this to hide thumbnails if there's no thumbnail present and in this case I placed a thumbnail with each uh, with each excerpt when they were created and this is the thumbnail container height for each excerpt and you can see here I've when I created these graphics I created them all 150 by 150 pixels just for a consistent clean look next we have image preference order and this is set up to accept the featured image first and then an attached image to the post I've placed all of these in the featured image and uh, but it doesn't matter you can just rearrange these and set them however you would like and it'll pick up whatever image is next in line and this really doesn't have any effect now but because I've set it to same size as excerpt but but what this does is it creates an image scaling so that if your images are not the same size it will scale those images and you can set that here if you set your uh, your image to a custom size then you'll have to specify the height and width here in this case these do not apply because I've set mine to the same size as the excerpt images next is proportional resizing again that doesn't have any effect here because I'm just using the uh, the same size as the image this is the alignment of the post title excerpt and I've set this to center and you can see here that each of these post title excerpts are centered if you chose left then it would be positioned on the left um, in this case it just looks a little more clean by a centered position and then this is the uh, text for the full story so I've set this to say read more on each one and as you can see that's just set for read more there and uh, at this time I've just clicked on hide all these bylines and what these bylines do is it shows like post date um, it can show you can show author you can show categories and basically I like a really clean look to the to the magazine template and so I've just left all of these hidden and that is it for the excerpts section in the next video we'll finish the magazine template setup by setting up the category block setting for suffusion theme